consider supporting us on Patreon for just one or more dollar per month. The link is below in the description. Hey what's up everybody, Best Kim here with a new Should You Buy The Rock Band DLC DLC video. In this video we're looking at Countdown to Insanity by HBlocks. This DLC is scheduled to be delisted before the end of next week, which means you don't have a lot of time to buy this before it gets removed from the store. One new thing I will do with this video is to rate it in how accessible the shards are for new, average and good players, which will help me decide if the shards are any good for you or not. If I say the shard is not for new expert players, but still say you should buy it, then it's still a no for you if you are new, although you still might want to buy it for later, when you are good enough though. But should you buy Countdown to Insanity? Let's find out. The jump shot only got one beat, which is two kicks in the first two hits of the beat, which is two kicks in the first two hits in the beat before the snare hit. The upside is that it does change up the beat a lot. I mean sometimes it's a 4 beat on a hi-hat, and other times it's just kicks with a double snare hit and a hi-hat opener after the snare. It's still the same general beat, just changed up. And this shot has 4 different versions of that beat, which made it a lot less repetitive than it could be. I think new and even average players can get into the groove of this beat for sure, but I don't think good players will find a lot of enjoyment here. Should you buy Countdown to Insanity for a drum shot? Yes. The bass shot is mainly a slow strumming on signal notes, with some signal note changes and a few hammer ons between some of the strumming here and there. There is also some same short sections that you only get 2 strums before a break and a repeat. I think this is a good shot for new expert players, and maybe for average players. And that's a big maybe. I would call this a big no for good players though. There isn't enough changes and tough sections for them I think. Should you buy this one for the base shot? Maybe. The guitar shot is by far the most fun and tough shot of this song, mainly because of the intro and the post choruses, which is a mix of short, slow and fast strumming and a lot of hammer-ons. The rest is mainly chord strumming though, which changes to the chord she strum on for every 4 and 8 notes, depending if it's in the chorus or the verse. I honestly think that this is a shot that anyone can get some enjoyment from. The new expert players will enjoy the chord strumming, but maybe have some problems with the hammer-ons. I think average players will love this, and the good players will find some enjoyment from the hammer-ons. Should you buy this song for the guitar shot? Hell yes! So, in summary Countdown to Insanity is a good song for new expert players, and all the shots of this song works for these kinds of players. I think it's also a safe buy for average players, but if you're good then only buy this song for the guitar, and even then it's a bit questionable. Should you buy Countdown to Insanity by HBlocks? Yes. But that's all for today's review, if you found the video helpful then make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more open videos in the future. Check out some of all the videos here and tell us your thoughts of this DLC single in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and see you next time in the next video.